This past week, I had a client that wanted 3D titles in their video, and I've been usually using After Effects to create 3D titles, but this time around, I wanted to try out DaVinci Resolve Fusion and see how it works. And lo and behold, it was super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Okay, so let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and have a look at the clip that we're going to add 3D text to. Here I have my drone flying across this rooftop and we're going to put a 3D text here in front of the people looking out over the city. So let's jump into Fusion and, and let's just have a quick look here. The first thing you want to do is to track this, this shot with a 3D tracker. So we're going to add a tracker and go up to camera tracker because if we use this and track this scene, we can extrapolate a 3D camera that will move exactly the same as the physical camera, which is the drone in this case. So basically I'm going to start pressing auto track. And as you can see, it filled this entire shot with these dots. I'm trying to make sense of this movement. So now I'm going to the next page here and here you want to add as much information about your camera. They don't have the DJI drones here so I'm just gonna choose this one HD. So if you want to have a super clean solve from this camera tracker it would help if you put in all of these values correctly. But for this for this type of shot I don't care Nobody has time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So just let's move on to our solve page. So let's click solve here. As you can see, we got a lot of information here. There's one that you should look out for, and that is this one, average solve error. So you should strive to have this under one pixels. I mean, 1.0 pixels. And as you can see, we have 0 0.6 here. So that means we are getting a good track out of this shot. So basically the next thing you're gonna do is to go over to the next page here and press export. And now you're gonna get a bunch of notes here and don't be alarmed, it will be super easy, barely an inconvenience. We don't need these two, just remove them. And then you just hook up your camera tracker here to your media out and you can also remove your camera tracker that we added previously. So now, what we can do here is to add a text and I can do this easily by just pressing this one, this icon here. So now we have text 3D and I will plug that into my merge 3D node and then I will type something like, hey, watch me float. And I will scale it down a little bit. This will just float along across this shot. So if you look closely, we have a little bit of problem here and that is it's a little bit jittery when it's this close to the virtual camera. But for, for this shot, it's not a problem because I want this text to be farther away from the camera. So I'm just going to transform here and just move it back. So it's in front of this group of people here. So let's see how that this works. Yeah, that's fine. Rotate it to an angle and then let's move it out to the right and then let's make it big move it down so there it is here we have a 3d text inside of all fusion super easy i can share another tip here so you want this wall here to to cover up the text but the thing is you can't plug a mask into let's say the the merge node and and use a mask to to block out the text here because this 3d system is like its own thing and our 2d system is a another thing so what you're gonna have to do is just disconnect your media in here and create another merge node a simple ordinary merge node and then connect this one to the end and now i can plug a ordinary mask into this merge node and as you can see we have a mask that cuts out this text here so that is how you can use ordinary masks as a compositing you know tool when when working with 3d text okay i hope this tutorial was helpful and if you got any questions let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next one bye